Welcome back to Infigyan friends. Today in this video we are going to take up one hexig equation challenge. Equation is x square plus 1 whole square times 2x minus 2 whole square equal to 2x times 3x square minus 3 whole square. Equation is hexig so we will have 6 solutions. Let's find out how many solutions are real valued. So let's get started by taking 2 common from this bracket. 3 common from this bracket. Let us write first x square plus 1 whole square as it is. Once you will take 2 common then it will come out as 2 square. So we will write 4 times x minus 1 whole square. Right hand side 2 times x. Once you will take 3 common it will come out as 3 square. That means 9 times x square minus 1 whole square. Now I will cancel 2 and 4 by writing over there 2. So equation will become 2 times x square plus 1 whole square times x minus 1 whole square equal to 9x x square minus 1 whole square. Now I will use one algebraic identity that is difference of two squares. Let me write that formula a square minus b square. It is equal to a plus b times a minus b and where I am going to apply here. So let us apply first. So 2 times x square plus 1 whole square. Left hand side is x minus 1 whole square and then you will write 9x. Here you will write x plus 1 times x minus 1 inside the bracket and if you will split the power then you will write power 2 for both the brackets. Now you can see x minus 1 x minus 1 whole square you are having LHS and in RHS. Take all the term to one side and take x minus 1 whole square common. So we will write x minus 1 whole square common then inside the curly bracket we will write 2 times x square plus 1 whole square from LHS and from RHS you will write with minus sign because you are writing towards left 9 times x x plus 1 whole square equal to 0. f dot g equal to 0. So we will write either f equal to 0. So x minus 1 whole square equal to 0 or this curly bracket. So 2 times x square plus 1 whole square minus 9x x plus 1 whole square equal to 0. So there are basically two equations. We will solve both the equations to find out our six solutions. Let's solve one by one. Let me write here x minus 1 whole square is equal to 0. Now, once you will take a square root both sides, you will write x minus 1 equal to 0 or x is equal to 1. So, 1 with multiplicity will write multiplicity 2. So, one solution is confirmed with multiplicity 2. Now, we will write the second equation. Second equation was 2 times x square plus 1 whole square minus 9x in bracket x plus 1 whole square it was equal to 0. Now I will expand. Let me expand here a plus b whole square. So a square x square whole square x power 4 plus 2ab so 2x square you will add then b square that is 1 square so 1 minus 9x a plus b whole square so a square plus b square plus 2ab so it will become x square plus 2x plus 1 equal to 0. Now let's multiply 2x power 4 plus 4x square plus 2 times 1 2 minus 9x times x square 9x cube minus 9x plus 2x means you are multiplying both 
then you will write minus 18x square minus 9x plus 1 means you are multiplying then you will write equal to 0. Now simplify so 2x power 4 minus 9x cube then 4x square minus 18x square minus 14x square then we will write minus 9x plus 2 equal to 0. You can see it is again one reciprocal equation once we will divide this equation by x square. As you can see x is not solution of this equation. So let's divide by x square. So I will be writing 2x square minus 9x minus 14 minus 9 over x plus 2 over x square equal to 0. Now you can see once you will take first and last term all together, second and second last all together, then you will have one reciprocal equation. Let me write. I will consider 2 common. So in bracket I will be writing x square plus 1 over x square. From second and second last term if you will take minus 9 common you will be writing in bracket x plus 1 over x and constant would be minus 14. So either you can write minus 14 equal to 0 or equal to 14 also. Now straight away it is clear. Once I will give substitution to this x plus 1 by x, let us consider this is t. Let me write here. Let x plus 1 over x equal to t. Because we have to write x square plus 1 over x square also. Take whole square both sides. So you will write x square plus 1 over x square plus 2 equal to t square. Once you will take is squaring both sides is squaring so from here we can collect our required expression x square plus 1 over x square it would be t square minus 2 let's put this value to the equation i will write two times here i will be writing t square minus 2 then minus 90 minus 14 equal to 0 let us multiply 2 with t square minus 2. So 2t square minus 4 minus 90 minus 14 equal to 0. Now 2t square minus 90 minus 18 equal to 0. So now this is one quadratic equation of course. So we will apply the quadratic formula or Sridharachar formula. Let's apply 2t square minus 90 minus 18 equal to 0. So let me write here itself t is equal to minus b. So 9 plus minus under the root b square. So 81 minus 4ac. So 4 times 2, 8, 8 times 18, 144. Divided by 2a. So you will write here 4. a is 2. Now 9 plus minus this value is 2 to 5 divided by 4 and this division is with complete numerator here you should put brackets now 9 plus minus it is square root 225 is 15 now you will divide with 4 so you can write t is equal to 9 plus minus 15 divided by 4 let me write here and remember t is our substitution it is x plus 1 over x so let me write here t is equal to x plus 1 over x is equal to 9 plus minus 15 divided by 4. Okay. So 9 plus 15 is 24 over 4. Let me write here 24 over 4 and 9 minus 15. So you will write minus 9 over 4. So let me write here minus 9 over it would be minus 6 over 4 minus 6 over 4 yes so it, it is coming out 6 and minus 3 over 2 done now i will equate both the equations see x plus 1 over x is equal to 6 
and you will write x plus 1 over x is equal to minus 3 over 2. Now let us solve both the quadratic equation it would be multiply with x. So I will write x square minus 6x plus 1 equal to 0. Let us apply Shidrachar formula x is equal to minus b so 6 plus minus under the root b square so 36 minus 4ac minus 4 over 2a so 2. So you will write 6 plus minus square root 32 16 times 2 4 root 2 over 2. That means x would be 3 plus minus 2 root 2. So here we are having two values. 3 plus minus 2 root 2 both are real and before that we, we calculated the solution x is equal to 1 with multiplicity 2. So, so far we have calculated 4 real solution. Now we will solve this equation x plus 1 over x is equal to minus 3 over 2. Let us see if this is also real solution minus 3 over 2. Multiply this equation with x x square plus 1 is equal to minus 3 by 2 times x. Take all the term to LHS. x square plus 3 by 2 times x plus 1 equal to 0. Multiply equation with 2. 2x square plus 3x plus 2 equal to 0. Now this is quadratic. I will apply Shizarachar formula. Minus b minus 3 plus minus under the root b square 3 square 9 minus 4 ac 4 times 4 16 divided by 2 a a is 2 so 4 now you can see complex solution is about to come 9 minus 16 is minus 7 square root of minus 1 is i so i will write i square root 7 divided by 4 so we are having Two complex solutions. So let me write all the solutions so far. I will write x is equal to 1 with multiplicity 2 and then we calculated two real solutions that was 3 plus minus 2 root 2. So far four real solutions. Now we calculated minus 3 plus minus i root 7 over 4 and this solution is complex value. Overall, six solutions are here. I hope this video will be meaningful to you. Do not forget to like, share, subscribe. Bye-bye till next video. Good luck and take care of yourself.